Good morning. Welcome to A Little Bit of Hope. It is a beautiful Monday morning. Sun is out. Gorgeous day. Just encourages us to enjoy and live out our calling where God is working in us and through us. And I was thinking about Galatians 5 this morning and my devotion time. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another in humble love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out. Or you will be destroyed by each other. So I say, walk by the Spirit. And you will not gratify the desires of the flesh, for the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit, and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other, so that you are not to do whatever you want. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Well, it's interesting because I was starting to write next week's sermon, of course, Pentecost Sunday. And how important it is for the Holy Spirit to come, to descend upon us, a heaven and earth meeting with a gush of wind and fiery flames and speaking in tongues. Must have been an interesting sight to have happen. But the one thing that kind of stood out to me, and I guess I'm... Caught my attention might be a good way to put it. You were called to be free. We were called to be free. Were we not free before the fall in the garden? We didn't have the conflict. We were as we were designed to be. And yet, ever since the fall in the garden, we've had nothing but conflict as we have good and evil at war with each other, and where are we in the midst of it? But yet it is a reminder that by life in the Spirit, which takes some effort on our part, there's always hope. There's always something better. We're, we're working towards what we are designed to be. Praise God for that. Because I look at the cross behind me and I can't help but to think that that cross is a symbol of victory because we don't have to be strapped to the difficulties of life. We can always carry hope, always learn, always grow. Praise the Lord for that. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you and we praise you we thank you for the freedom that you give us. We thank you, Lord, for all of who you are and whose we are. Lord, continue to open our hearts and our minds to where you are at work, both in our lives and in the world around us, and inviting us even into the ministry, sometimes in ways that we probably would not have seen, understood, worth, maybe even been prepared for without the Holy Spirit at work in our lives. So as we prepare for the coming of the Holy Spirit, celebrating your ascension, Jesus, your return to your Father, uh, prepare our hearts and our minds that we may be in a mode of celebration now as the disciples were as they were in Jerusalem, waiting for the Holy Spirit, worshiping you. What a setting, Lord. You developed and prepared then and still have for your church today. Lord, we lift to you all those who are hurting, who don't feel well, who are sick in any way, shape, or form. We ask, Lord, that you move within that setting. 
We celebrate those who are able to celebrate birthdays and anniversaries and all sorts of special days, Lord. Especially as we're preparing for summertime when we can spend more time together in a fellowship, Lord. Keep our hearts focused on you and how we can serve and care for each other and family and others around us. How do we show that love and grace and mercy, Lord? And certainly, how can we, Lord, understand the agape love that you show and continually show us? So, Lord, in this place and in this time, watch over those places that need hope this morning, that have nothing but despair, possibly even for generations. Free them as you free us. For we lift all of this in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Well, good morning, my friends. It is great to see you up online. Uh, whatever time that may be, it's still a celebration, Lord. It is a celebration of the Lord's time and this media that we can do this with. I first went into ministry, I never would have thought this would be possible. But that's how God works, isn't it? Does the impossible moves in such a way to grab our attention and invited us, invite us to be a part of it. And to me, that's really special. So as you go forward today, may the love of Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. May it be as bold and uplifting and place your heart in a place of worship as it did for the disciples so many years ago. Any comments, concerns, prayer requests, please leave them in the comment section below. And again, may you be blessed as you go forward into the world today, wherever God calls you. And if you are struggling, Know that God is there in the midst of it all. And we will pray each other through. So, my friends, again, thank you for joining. It's great to see you and look forward to seeing you again. Bye for now.